Welcome to Secret Machinery Channel. Today we will explore the world's largest bridge girder erector machine and girder transporters. How does the giant multifunction off-road crane and transport system works? And how people make the biggest bridges in the world? First is the SLJ900, biggest bridge girder erection machine. This machine weighs 580 tons, 91.8 meters long, 7.4 meters in width, and 9 meters in height. It can lift 900 tons of stuff. SLJ900 has main support leg adopts the joint dominated triangular structure. The supporting will train JP3 mechanism is used on the main support leg. Without any anchor measures. The main support leg is designed to realize the structure self, JP stabilization and can resist overturning moment which bridge erecting machine over the span to the next pier. With the constant drive mode on the main support leg, the bridge erecting machine realizes the synchronization control mode of different driving methods and improves the safety and reliability in operation. Through alternating functional transformation technique of the main support leg and auxiliary support leg, the bridge erecting machine can over the span to the next pier without the need of the guide beam. The operational process is simplified and the bridge erecting machine can erect box girder at the tunnel entrance and erect box girder inside the tunnel. You may not know this is a work done by Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company. Wow Joint Holdings Limited was founded in 1996 by experienced engineers predominantly in the railway industry, but it has evolved into a global leader in the bridge and highway markets as well. From 1996 to 1999, Acted as a pioneer, while joint developed and promoted prefabricated method for railway bridge erection in China, and then impelled China Ministry of Railway to accept FSM full span method and applied it in the construction of the first HSR line Qingwindao Shenyang in China. From 1999 to 2002, while joint was awarded the contract for supplying 550 ton special launching carrier which was the first machine in China for erection of full-span prefabricated box beam on project of the first high-speed railway. From 2002 to 2004, Wild Joint supplied consulting service on FSM for project of Hangzhou Bay Bridge construction and issued new erecting solution on passing through tunnel for the construction of HSR Bridge in Mountain Area. From 2004 to now, Wow Joint has provided launching gantry in 900 tons capacity and the special carrier in 900 tons capacity for HSR. Next is Master Crane System Meister TC50. System Meister is how Meister GmbH describes its new, multifunctional off-road crane and transport system on chains. The main component of the new off-road crane and transport system is the TC50 Heavy Duty Transport Crawler with which loads weighing up to 50 tons can be transported safely and efficiently, even through the most difficult terrain. This can be used multifunctionally in various operating modes. The operation mode of Master Crane System Meister. In the off-road semi-trailer operating mode, almost any semi-trailer can be hitched up, regardless of whether it is a standard semi-trailer, semi-low loader or trailer. This means that even fully loaded semi-trailers can be transported safely to the desired location without time-consuming reloading, even on the most difficult terrain. This is where the System Meister's Heavy Duty Transport Caterpillar clearly shows its advantages over Heavy Duty Tractor Units. In the off-road loading crane operating mode, the Heavy Duty Transport Crawler picks up a 53 tons loading crane with fly gin and transport platform. In addition to a powerful knuckle boom crane with a lifting height of up to 35M and a lateral reach of over 30M, this also enables the desired load to be transported safely on difficult terrain or in confined spaces. Especially in glass and glass element construction, this operating mode shows advantages when used in narrow construction sites. The modular parity of the system is also clear here, the complete System Meister Model TC50 comes to the place of use without a permit with only one articulated train and a total train weight of less than 40 tons. A powerful 60 tons or 100 tons at crane superstructure can be picked up in the off-road telescopic crane operating mode and expands the possible uses of the system as a crawler telescopic crane. A maximum lifting capacity of up to 100 tons is then available off-road. 
This equipment feature and the possibility of being able to operate via crane superstructure in the so-called standalone operating mode, i.e. without an undercarriage, once again shows the flexibility and multifunctionality of the system. Loads can be transported and lifted with just one system Meister unit. This is 900T Girder Transporter. Girder Transporter is a rubber-tired carrier that always works together with railway forward slash highway gantry crane and bridge girder erector launching gantry. Called three-piece in the industry. It is an economical and efficient transporter to build a highway and high-speed railway bridge in the shortest possible time. We also call this way PSM. Stands for Precast Span Method. The famous Beijing to Shanghai high-speed railway was built in this way. Spans concrete box girders are precast concrete girders in place near bridge or railway construction site. Operators use girder transporter to transport those spans next to launching gantry one by one. The gantry erects a piece of span and moves it to space between the next two piers. You may need 90 days to build a bridge in the old days. Now you only need 3 days to finish same work if you use span carrier in PSM way. Now we will go deeper into the 900T Girder Transporter. 900T Girder Transporter is suitable for transporting and installing whole concrete girder in high-speed railway construction. Girder Transporter can carry concrete box girder from precast yard to the worksite by way of pavement. Railway Roadbed, Bridge and Culvert cooperating with the bridge girder launcher to finish installing girders. The girder transporter can carry the bridge girder launcher to another worksite in short distance and also carry it to pass the passenger special double line tunnel. The 900T girder transporter has a vehicle width 6.95M, overall length 38.6M. The vehicle is high-tech products integrating with motor, electrical device and hydraulic system. The girder transporter is designed and manufactured by ZZHZ. Being number one in China and rank among the top three high-end bridge equipment manufacturers in the global market. ZZHZ engineered solutions to satisfy every critical aspect of the bridge design and provides equipment of divine craftsmanship. ZZHZ endeavor to stand up to any challenge heads-on. The girder transporter can transport 20M, 24M, 32M box type concrete girder for double track railway special line for transport of passenger with speed 350 km per hour and 250 km per hour, from precast site to girder acting workstation via shortcut. Roadbed, bridge steel structure continuous girder and continuous girder with steel and concrete integrated included, and culvert, thus completes relevant girder carrying and directing work with bridge girder launching gantry. Girder transporter can also carry bridge girder launching gantry to transfer to another site in short distance between bridges to pass twin track tunnel on railway special line for transport of passenger. The 900T girder transporter is driven by 64 driving wheels 16 sets, for 4 2 set for rear vehicle and front vehicle, the driving power device is of a built-in hydraulic motor connected with wheel hubs of all driving wheels by speed reduction gearbox. Hydraulic driving motor is a variable piston motor connected with gear reducer by same shaft. Reduction gearbox has brake device. Parking brake is of normally closed type brake which could ensure a higher brake safety as the motor misses and the complete machine is located on the ramp. Continuing is the method of bridge construction, incremental launching 3D animation. Incremental launching of bridges can save time, money, space and disruption while easing access and delivering a high-quality finish. The incremental launching method is particularly suited to the construction of continuous post-tensioned multispan bridges. It involves casting 15, 30m long sections of the bridge superstructure in a stationary formwork behind an abutment and pushing a completed section forward with jacks or friction launching system along the bridge axis. Alternatively, the launching can be done by means of hydraulic pulling jacks using strand or bar temporary tendons. A steel nose is installed on concrete viaducts or a temporary tower with stays on metallic decks. The sections are cast contiguously and then stressed together. The superstructure is launched over temporary sliding bearings on the piers to keep the bending moment low in the superstructure during construction. 
A launching nose is attached to the front of the bridge deck. The main advantages for using this construction methodology, rather than other traditional methods, are Minimal disturbance to environmentally sensitive areas Smaller assembly zone required Greater safety during construction which is mainly carried out at ground level Economy of transportation and general reduction in construction elements Higher quality finish and performance derived from easier working conditions and repeatability of tasks Ease of access to restricted or limited sites, such as over rivers Deep valleys, road or train lines, in poor soil conditions or environmentally protected areas Although its significant advantages make using this technique a highly attractive option Certain aspects require a high level of expertise, both in terms of people and equipment, offered by members of the BBR network. They have much experience, acquired over many years, in the techniques of incremental launching and a track record for successful delivery of launched structures all over the world. Finally we come to the replacement of Dickensons Creek Bridge. Dickenson Creek Bridge was demolished and the road closed for three months from the 17th of February 2015 as work begins to build a new bridge. Greater Tari City Council awarded a $1.82 million contract to demolish the existing bridge, build a new bridge, and the relevant approach roadworks to Delaney Civil Party Limited. The 33-meter former timber bridge carries Moto Road over Dickensons Creek and is about 12 kilometers north of Tari. It was built around 1950 and is described in a report to Council as being in a poor condition with a current posted weight limit of 5 tons. Work has begun on the 17th of February 2015 with Delaney Civil Party Limited with a 19-week construction period. Council was preparing a communication plan to ensure local residents are informed of the impact of the works on use of Moto Road. According to a report to Council, the unalignment replacement and method of construction for a single-span bridge requires close of the bridge for about three months. Council has identified that during the three-month closure, the day tour will be via Lansdowne and Kundal Kundal roads which will add about 4 kilometers to a trip from Tari to the location north of the bridge. The tender allocation for the Dickensons Creek Bridge Works is part of the Greater Tari Roads and Bridges Package. Council has already spent $1.1 million on preliminary works for a number of infrastructure projects in the Manning Valley, including the design of plans to replace Dickensons Bridge. Dias Crossing Bridge at Dias Crossing as well as reconstruction works on Manning Point Road from Old Bar Road to Bonnock Bridge and sections of Gloucester Road.